So the Ravens picked up three guys off the street, so to speak, that uh, immediate, got immediate PT here against the Bengals. Um, LJ Fort, Josh Bynes, and Jihad Ward. Ward rather. Um, what I did was took a collection of these guys' plays versus the Bengals, and I saw some good things in, in the run fits. I saw some good things in, in effort and pursuit to the ball and in just overall playmaking. Um, actually looked a lot better than some of the guys we had in there. That's probably one of the reasons – we could afford to let Kenny Young go. So um, I hope when Peanut comes back, he's on his P's and Q's because he could um, be like Kenny Young. Out. But let's get into the play of these three guys, and I can show you what I saw and what I liked about uh, G. Howard, Josh Bynes, and L.J. Ford. And let's start with uh, Josh Bynes. Bynes is taking over the number uh, 57 from um, uh, C.J. Mosley. This is Bynes right here. And simply, this is simply just doing his job being in his run fit. I mean, pre-snap looks like he has this gap right here. You know, barring some kind of stunt. But pre-snap looks like this is his gap to control. Comes down. He's, you know, fitting in his gap where he should be. Gets leverage on 67. So now if um, Mason wants to cut to his gap, he should cut into a tackle. Which, what happens? He controls his gap. Mixon has nowhere to go. He gets low and tries to get up under the blocker. Makes the tackle. Not doing too much. Just doing his job. Not doing too much. Just doing his job. Now, here again, another run fit. Another good run fit. Staying behind the play. Well, let's see where his gap is pre-snap. So, if we're going to pre-snap, we're going to say this is his gap. But it's funny because... Uh, who was this? 95? I don't know who 95 is right now. He could he could come there. So it's kind of, we don't really know which gap is his pre-snap. Obviously, this is um, Williams' gap right here. So Williams takes that A gap. Nobody's, so this may be his backside gap. Not really sure. I think I think he, he should be outside. But anyway, let's just say he got backside A gap. Because him, between him and Fort, they got this backside A gap. He just run and fills the gap. This guy's coming to kick out, kind of like a split zone look. Fills the hole. Sees open space, fills the hole. Attacking downhill. And keeping his gap integrity. Attacking downhill, keeping his gap integrity. Two things that linebackers have to do to be successful. Attack downhill when given the opportunity. And keep your gap integrity. Keep your gap integrity. Now, let's just talk about what would happen if he didn't keep gap integrity. If he tried to play this too too fast or overflow this or try to beat him to this point if he was in this gap and Will was in this gap now look at what Mixon would have to run through the fact that he stayed patient and disciplined led to a tackle for loss one yard tackle for loss that's what we've been missing at the linebacker play as much as I love Peanut and the other guys we've been missing that type of stuff now Bynes another play for Bynes right here Look at that, just eye discipline. Eye discipline. Drop, drop and play your zone. Drop and play your zone. Eyes on the quarterback. His eyes go the other way, so your hips and your movement go the other way. His eyes come back. Bam. Should have been a pick for him, but it turns into a pick for Hump. Should have been a pick for him right there. Should have caught it, but turns into a pick for Hump. Again, another guy just doing his job, making a play for the team. Big time turnover. Now, let's move on to Ward and Fort. Uh, now, I said both of these in, in, in this play because they're lined up right behind each other. And just watch their run fits. They don't overrun the play, and they get to the they get to the ball and make the tackle. So I just play it through first. So good job. Now, actually, all three of these guys on in here on this play. I didn't. I forgot about Bynes on this. So you got Ward here is one of the new guys. Fort here, and Bynes right here. But we're gonna focus on Ward and Fort on this one. All right. Plays they running a toss outside zone, and it's similar to what. Um, matter of fact, this is the same dog on play that the Bengals got all those yards on. The same. So they the copycat lead. This is the same play. 
that the Bengals got all those yards on. Not the Bengals, the Browns got all those yards on. And then Cincinnati tries to duplicate it. And uh, it doesn't work because these guys play their gap integrity. They sit and they run fits. Man, I didn't pay, I didn't pay attention to this early. This is the same play. The same play. You got those two guys pulling. Now watch how watch how they kind of stay stay behind. Watch how they stay behind. Let me slow it down a little bit. Sorry. Now what Ward does right here is he does not get hooked. He crosses the face of this guy and he's going to kind of make the play a little bit because he doesn't stay hooked right here. You see Fort fighting to get over the top because he see these pullers. He reading his pullers. He reading his pullers. But the good thing is this guy is even or behind the ball. And he got this gap. He got this gap because he's even or behind the ball. Moving a little further. Now he's still behind the ball. He's got a guy trying to block him, but he's still behind the ball. Now you got two for two out here. But the kicker is Ward didn't beat this guy. So now all they got to do is turn it back in. And you got somebody to make the tackle. So fourth job is to take this out, take on this outside shoulder right here, make mix and cut back or slow down, and somebody better be there to make the tackle. Takes it on, takes it on with the outside shoulder, which makes mix and try to cut. And look who that to tackle. You got um, Bynes here. You got War here running down the play, running down the line. You know, those three guys. We're not on the team when the Browns did this, ran this play for 88 yards and 17 yards. The fact that they came in and basically did their job, not anything spectacular, just did their job. Did it set the edge and feel, set the edge and feel, set the edge and feel. The play is made by these three guys that weren't even on the team two or three weeks ago. You got Fort here. Um, Bynes here and, and Ward here. These three guys were not on the team three weeks ago and make this play, which is the same play Cleveland hit us for 100 yards on a couple weeks ago. All right, let's move on to Ward by himself. Simply his his effort is just going to get this ball. He's going to get this play. Just effort. Just effort. The RPO from, from Cincinnati. He's in no man's land. Now just run. Just run. Just run and get the tackle. Simple. Not giving up on the play. Just not giving up on the play. RPO, which they kind of, you know, playing off of him, not blocking him. Run. Run, big fella. Boom. Make the tackle. Effort. Effort, effort, effort. And we're going to end this thing with uh, LJ Fort. He is right here, if I'm not mistaken. Right here on the big, big cursor. And watch this defensive play by him. In coverage. Tight end peels, boom, knock it away. Tight end peels, knock it away. So here's Fort right here. He's going to peel off on the tight end. Bumps him. So now he has the tight end has one way to go. He has to go outside. Can't go inside at all. And he breaks outside. Now, watch how he puts his right hand behind him and uses his left hand to knock the ball away. Right hand behind Left hand knocked the ball away. Boom, right there. Perfect. Perfect. Can't play any better coverage on the uh, tight end right there. Especially on a little quick out route. Can't have any better coverage. And again, these three guys were not on the team at all last year. We uh, Eric DaCosta brought in three guys that all contributed to a big win versus a big divisional win versus Cincinnati. And it looks like they're professionals. They know what they're doing. They're not trying to do too much. They're just doing their job. So, again, this is uh, video two of week six on LJ Fort, um, Jihad Ward, and Josh Bynes. This is Coach Evans. Make sure this is your first time here. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.